It was on Christmas Eve that Lady came to live with her people, Jim Deere and Darling. They loved her at once, but Lady could see they needed some training. But as dogs know, people are quite smart. And before long, Lady's people understood that she preferred to sleep in the bedroom, not in the kitchen, and must have a small swinging door of her own. Then one day, a new baby arrived and life became much more serious for Lady. One morning, Jim Deere said to her, I've been called away on business for a while, and I depend on you to watch over things. But no sooner was Jim gone than Aunt Sarah arrived, a stern-faced lady who had come to help with the new baby. Aunt Sarah didn't like Lady at all, but she did like her two Siamese cats. And every day she blamed Lady for the mischief they did around the house. Lady told her troubles to her friends, Jeff and Trusty. But all they said was, things will be fine when Jim gets back. Meanwhile, said a strange voice, why not forget your troubles with a little fun? The speaker was an impudent young mongrel known as the Tramp. Poor Lady, she was feeling so blue. That she agreed to go with him. What a wonderful time they had. First a visit to the zoo, though no dogs were allowed. Then to the circus, where they had an excellent view from under a front seat. At last, however, Lady remembered her promise to watch over things in Jim's absence. So in spite of the tramp's pleadings, she said goodbye and left for home. It was already very late. You wicked dog! cried Aunt Sarah when Lady crept into the kitchen. I'll teach you to wander. And she tied Lady in the yard with a stout chain. But although she didn't know it, Lady was not alone. Across the yard crept a dark, sinister stranger. When Lady saw it slink through her own little door, she went wild with rage. Far down the street, the tramp heard her and came running. What's the matter, Pigeon, he asked. A rat, Lady gasped, and with one last wild plunge, snapped the chain. The two dogs raced into the house and up the stairs. There, just inside the nursery, was the rat. Good old Tramp. He knew what to do and wasted no time. Then he dropped the dead rat behind a chair. At that moment, broom in hand, Aunt Sarah appeared at the door. Take that, you mangy cur, she cried, hitting the tramp. Then Darling was there, too, worried about the baby. Neither woman saw the dead rat. They couldn't understand why the dogs were in the nursery. But that night, Jim Deere came home, and Lady led him to the dead rat still behind the chair. I'm beginning to understand, Jim said. It looks to me like the tramp was really a hero. And so the tramp was welcomed into the Darling family, where he and Lady soon became proud parents of their own family.